Yes, sir. good people, welcome again to our channels. And today I'm with my sister Mary Esther Shaw. And this is Cyprian TV. And guys, thank you so much for always supporting us. And I don't know what to say. I'm humbled because every time we come on to you guys, you never disappoint us. And I've been seeing so many people asking some questions. Who are this Mary Esther? Who are this Cyprian TV? I know most of you don't know how we work and we have never disclosed ourselves or about, uh, about touching souls. There is something we call touching souls, but my sister here, she gonna talk about it. And for those people who are from diaspora, we appreciate your efforts of supporting us. May Almighty God bless you. We don't take it for granted. I know you are finishing how people uh, comment negative, but us, we don't focus on negativity. We focus on positivity because at the end of the day, we want to change this narrative of poverty in Africa. I think most the people outside the country, they know Africa as a, a perfect country. Can I say a perfect country? A poor country. A poor country whereby we have so many people who are very poor. We have so many slums and everything. <laughs> I don't know why, but guys, we are here to change this narrative. So Cyprian TV and Mary Esther, we have um, a group called Touching Souls. I'm going to introduce my sister here so that she can talk in length and she can explain about ourselves so that you will understand. Next time, maybe you will not be asking, who is Cyprian TV, who is Mary Esther TV? But when we come like this, when I'm here, yes, I'm Cyprian TV, she's Mary Esther, but we have one thing in common called Touching Souls. So welcome my sister, Mary Esther. Thank you. Uh, so hi, everybody. And for those who don't know me, I'm Esther Nyarivari. But then uh, my, some of my social media handles are Mary Esther. Yes. And I think that is the name most yeah. of these people know me by. Mm -hmm. So we're here today live from Mwagamo mm -hmm. in um, North Mogurango constituency, Nyamira County. Uh, we're here because of uh, a gentleman called George. I think for those who follow us have known and have seen who George is. So uh, let me talk about touching souls. You know, most people have been seeing me and as Mary Esther and Cyprian here, but then uh, we have an organization. Yeah, this organization it is a CBO. Um, sorry. Uh, so Touching Souls, it's a CBO. We registered it in Nairobi some years back. So Touching Souls is a, it is an organization known by the government. So we are here representing the government. So whenever you see us as Cyprian and Mary Esther, Lest you forget that we're representing the government. So those of you who come here and um, you start abusing us, yeah. my friend, you'll find yourself in a, in, a, in a place that you won't manage, a place that you won't believe you are there. So um, for those friends who are in the diaspora and uh, all over Kenya, we really appreciate for your support and uh, we humbled because, you know, it's not easy. We just come here, we show you pictures from the ground and you just give in to support. Uh, I know you trust in us and uh, you believe in what we do and it's the reason you guys, you support us. So we're really grateful for that. And um, I don't know what you will you want me to address as well? Uh, you can, maybe you can say why we decided to have that as CPO and why actually we are uh, helping the vulnerable families, especially the orphans, the poor people, like that. Yeah, so Touching Souls, uh, it is an organization which was registered purposely to help the vulnerable in society. And uh, we are ambassadors uh, of, of these people and um, most of the time, we, we voice or rather we speak for the orphans, the abled differently and, and the elderly. In most cases, if you've gone through our page uh, and, and uh, you've seen maybe what we post there, like when schools are opening, we have orphans who don't manage to, to, to get the school fees and stuff. So we voice for them. We just give them a platform whereby they come and, uh, and they air their issues out and well wishes come through for them. Mm -hmm. So um, we decided to register this CBO because we've, we've been working um, as a person. Like I can say, I, I was working as a person and Cyprian was working as a person, but then we decided to do something that will bring us together and we work as a group. Mm 
<laughs> and now this group, we wanted the group to be uh, uh, to be known by the government, to be recognized by the government, so that if anything happens, at least the government gets to know that uh, this is these are people that are registered. So that is how we came up with the the CBO. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So thank you, my sister Mary Esther. I, I saw the other day somebody did a video saying mm -hmm. like we don't have a CPO. It's not everything we must disclose to you. So today officially we have told you like we have a we CPO, have a CPO yeah. called Touching Souls. If you see Supreme TV and Mary Esther, these are Touching Souls. So for today we have uh, disclosed official. We have a CPO called touching souls, meaning we are touching souls. We are touching people's lives who have been forgotten in the community. We have all the grannies, all the grandfathers who have been uh, left by the community, by the children. Because at the end of the day, maybe Esther, you can find like there is a grandfather somewhere. He has kids, yes, but they have disowned him. What can we do? We as touching souls, we go there, do a story so that our people can help that person. Like, uh, like now we handed over a house for Mama Mora at um, Kitutu Chache constituency in Kisi Kitutu County. Kitutu Chache North. Yeah, Kitutu Chache North, yes, Kisi County. Uh, I, I, also, I saw many people asking like, so you can give path to 10 kids, but those 10 kids, they cannot take care of you. Sometimes you don't know the story or you don't know the real story on the ground. Maybe there are some people, yes, they give birth to 10 kids. By the end of the day, maybe you get like, uh, they died or they are poor. They cannot manage because we are not focusing on those people who have. We are focusing on those people who cannot even manage to do something by themselves. And whatever we do first thing when we came even in this charity or in this um, family, we call the area chief. We have to inform them so that they can give us the clear picture. Because at the end of the day, the, the area chief or the clan head, they know each and every person in their village, yeah? So they can, he can tell us maybe how he behaves, if they are from needy family, uh, if they really need our support. You know, sometimes you can get someone who is poor, but it's because of the wish. You know, uh, why I say that because they wish. You get like you have your own hands, you have everything, but you cannot go even to do a kibarua, you know? At the end of the day, if you do a kibarua, you can get your 10 bob, your 20 bob, your 50 bob, which will enable you to have a living. So guys, uh, when you support us, just you know we have followed the right procedure. Even if you go to the area chief, he can tell you like this lady, they called us to confirm about this information. And each and every information we have at hand, Mark it like you are uh, on safe hands. Ignore those people who are ranting. Can I say nonsense? I'm sorry to no, use that, no, 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 that thing. No. I don't know if I am allowed to use that, <laughs> but I withdraw. <laughs> I withdraw. There are people ranting so many things about us, but we don't care. Uh, the only thing, our aim or our motto is we are focused, we are moving higher. We just want to change this narrative in our society. I know most the people you have never even gone deep to the villages. If you go deep to the villages, my friend, you are com if you are complaining, you will stop complaining because there are people living, uh, how can I say? There is a life you can see and then you can be like, oh my God, I don't have to complain. So guys, for those people who have been supporting us, all I can say we are humbled. May Almighty God bless you. Don't get tired of supporting us. And now, guys, uh, Mary, I think you have forgotten something. Mm -hmm. We had agreed like we are not going to concentrate on only in Kisi County. Maybe, can you talk about it? We are not going to do only in Kisi County and Nyamira County. Uh, so we've been working uh, in Nyamira and Kisi counties. I don't know, maybe because we are coming from Gusi, but yeah. we've now decided to be Kenyans. Yes. <laughs> Not Gusi. Yeah. We decided to be Kenyans and um, we decided this because we found out that we have uh, well-wishers who support us from different counties. Mm -hmm. Like we have people who support us from Kurialand, from uh, Valley, Central, Central, and all Kamba. over. Yeah, and all over Kenya. So um, I think we'll do this as the last project in Kisi as yes. for now. Yeah. And then afterwards, we'll go to a different county, maybe mm -hmm. Bomet, maybe Kuria. You never know, it will be a surprise. Yeah, we'll, we, we decided to go uh, to go Kenyan way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
we we decided to to do it all over the country mm -hmm. the, the, can, mm. the 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 country yeah yes. it's country yeah. so guys uh Marista, maybe you give us your social handles where people can find you um i'm on youtube by the name mary esther show i'm on tiktok by mary esther and I'm on Facebook by Esther Nyaribari. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are my official names, by the way. Esther Nyaribari. I saw yes. people asking, Nyaribari, Nyaribari, Chache. No, Nyaribari is my father's <laughs> name. Your father's name. Yeah. Okay, and me, I'm Ciprin Oenga in my Facebook account. My YouTube account, Ciprin TV. My TikTok account, Ciprin TV. Oh, we're going to say, may Almighty God bless you. See you in our 